What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back here in the building with some more Madden 25 gameplay here. Got an online ranked match here against a random opponent. My opponent has my favorite team, the San Francisco 49ers. I got Jamal Charles and company in the Kansas City Chiefs, man. A classic here. You see it in the description. Oh, my goodness, man. This is another one for the ages. Um... These classes, I just don't know how to explain these classes. I always get stuck when I try to figure out the words to explain these classics. It's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's just, these classics are just awesome. Man. That's all I can really say. I guess, I, just, I guess that's the only way to define them. But check out this, man. Third down, some change, man. I decided to run with the boy Alex Smith, man. It's a nice pass right here. So I, I mean, that's a nice run right there. So I decided to slide on that third down. Next play right here, I decided to throw it up. First out of 10, I had a one-on-one. -on -one. I figured I'd take a chance, and I ended up getting it intercepted. You know, I took a chance right there. That's not what I usually do. I usually wait to the uh, defender. It's actually beat by a couple more steps. I was like, it was a little bit uncharacteristic move by me. I ended up paying for it, and now I have to deal with this guy. Man, this guy, in the first quarter, he pounded. Actually, the whole game, for the most part, he pounded the ball. But this guy did an outstanding job of keeping the ball on the ground, no matter where I tackled him. It was a two-yard two loss, a five-yard loss. He would come right back with the run most of the time. Look at this, man. He's running the ball just down the field. You know, and I actually love it. So when he got this, see, this pass threw me off. As you can see, my uh, there got my man right there that I was controlling. I'm looking for the run. He ran the ball so much when he threw the ball. I was kind of, you know, I was kind of throwing off. And he ends up running again. Ends up getting a touchdown right there. The first points of the game by him, man. So he's up seven and nothing. My turn to burn. I see what I, what I I'm sorry. I see what I can do. I throw a screen right there. That's the word next play. I get a nice play to the tight end right there, man. Great job on part. I'm trying to figure out how to get down the field on this defense. You know, the defense is tough. The 49 defense is not as tough as it is. I mean, it was, uh, I'm sorry, as it was last year. But what is something that you have to respect about, they do have some heavy hitters. So you got to respect that. Nice play right there to the wide receiver going down the middle. Just figuring out different ways to come down the field on passing the ball, running the ball, just kind of throwing them off a little bit. Just not giving them the same thing. Don't want to give them the same read. I have about a handful to eight plays that I really, really enjoy running in this game. Third down right there, I don't get it. Fourth down, I was where well, I kicked the field goal, but the boy Phil Dawson, he doesn't have the best leg, and that would have been a 47-yard field goal, and it was only three yards ago, so I was like, you know what, let me let me see if I can go for the fourth down, as you can see, I didn't get it, and he had the ball, look at this, man, Frank Gold is a complete nightmare, man, oh my goodness, man, this guy, this one play, I believe I put it on his one play, he breaks tackles in the backfield, like two, three tackles, and he's like three, four yards behind the line of scrimmage, I'm like, man, this dude is crazy, I mean, he's like the second hardest person for me to tackle in this game. First, Alfred Morris. Oh my goodness, man. My point get a touchdown right here going up 14 and nothing. Alfred Morris is a complete beast. <laughs> He's the reason why I do not like playing against the Redskins. Not RG3, Alfred Morris. Oh my goodness, man. But check out this play right here. I get to the boy Jamal Charles, man. He had a big day receiving, man. Not the best day running with receiving. He had a pretty solid game. I believe he had over 100 yards. I try to get to him again, but he ends up catching it, but he ends up getting it back down. At the same time, next play, man. See if I can find somebody. I stroll to the right. No one's open, so I end up... Throwing it up the middle, trying to squeeze one in right before the half, but it doesn't work. So I end up taking the field goal right here. I'm definitely satisfied with that. I'm only down 14. You know, you know. Yesterday I showed you guys the game while I was down 21 or something like that. It scored 21 to three, and I came back. So of course I'm overconfident that I can come back in this game too. Look at this man. He tried to curl out rope. See the thing of it is, I made an adjustment. I was running a lot of zone, so I decided to switch up. I was like, you know what? Let me run a man to man code. Let me, let me stick to the man to man a little bit, and that's how I end up getting that play. That interception right there that was a great um adjustment by my part. And I get a touchdown right here. Jamal Charles wide open on the wheel route. Man, one of my favorite plays running the game. I go for two right here because I'm down five. I'm trying to make it down down three, and I'm successful with that. But they get the ball to Dwayne Ball right there, so I get a nice little um comeback before the half. So the score is 14 11. And I know I'm feeling good. He got the ball. I kind of wish I had the ball half. I always wish I had the ball at half, man. They should make it a way that I can get the ball in the, in the first quarter and I can get the ball in the second half, man. I know that might sound like. I'm cheating, but you know, it's me. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, man, he has a ball. Look, he got me with that curl all right there, man. That, that was in the zone, though, and that curl. So that was a good job on his part. That curl route, like, the man, the, the man cover three press that I run, for some reason, it kind of leaves the curl route a little open for some reason. But if I have good corners, I usually get the tackle. I got to work on that. I think this is that player. He breaks the tackle right there. Breaks another. Look at this. Breaks three, four tackles. What I got to do to get this guy down? Like, I'm like, man, just stay down, man. He just doesn't want to go down. But for some reason, well, I run with Frank Gore. That's my team. I'm not middle at that. I run with Frank Gore. I, I just don't get 
plays like that that offense when he's like just bulldozing everybody. So maybe I might run with him too much. I don't know, man. But nice play right here to the left, man. Pass it. Love be that um, Mario Manningham on the catch right there. Next play, he decides to run in with Frank Gore. Why not? He is right there, man. Excellent intellectual decision by him. And I am down 10. I'm down 10, but of course I'm not out. I got to try to figure out a way to get down this field. So what I'm thinking right here. I'm, I'm still thinking I'm going to run and pass the ball. It's only third quarter. I don't have to panic right here. I don't have to get crazy. I'm not down by a whole lot. I've been here before. Again, nice pass right down the middle. Again, man, just trying to figure out ways to, you know, deplete his defensive scheme. And it's working for the most part right here. It's working a little bit. I'm passing a little bit more than what I usually do. Look at that, man. I ended up trying to get the first down, but he ends up dropping it. I was like, whoo, man, if he would have picked that one up. That might have been the game. Fourth down and edges. I decided to take a chance, and I barely get it. I thought I didn't get that, but I barely snuck in and got that. Next play is first down and goal. I'm trying to get to the fullback, and I do. I end up getting a touchdown right there, making the score the 21 to 18. I haven't quite stopped him, so that's why I went for that chance. As you notice, I have he has. I've not forced him to punt, so I felt like I had to go for that. You know, just you know, just in case he ended up getting a touchdown. You know what I mean? Because if I go, if I go down with 14 to 28. In his fourth quarter, you know, that's a little bit harder to come back as I end up getting the user pick. Oh my goodness, man. It's a little bit harder to come back opposed to me, opposed to the score being, uh, you know, 18 to 21. So, um, you know, definitely um, a big difference there. As you can see, I got a user pick not too long ago, man. That's a great read on my part. Next play, I decided to get to the boy, Charles, Jamal Charles, man. A nice play right there, man. Second receiving touchdown on the day. Oh my goodness, man. He was an absolute beast in this game. So I end up taking the lead. I take the lead. Finally in this game uh, being down. I think I was down 14 or something three or something crazy like that But look at this man. He gets a play over there. Got one of my plays on me, man But you know that down the middle streak where I throw it over the top That's kind of one of my bread and butter plays man So excellent job on this play. He's gonna try to figure a way to come down and score. He gets a play right here to Anquan Bode and my cornerback did a crazy That's the third. That was kind of like the second or third time he did that crazy like animation but nonetheless, man, I got to try to come down and score. It's a second left to go in the game. I have one timeout, and look at this, man. I get the ball to Jamal Charles, and I should have ran out of bounds right here. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I had the touchdown. I hurry up offense. I'm looking for my man Dwayne Ball right down the middle. I'm going to try to go for the um, Jaggernaut right here. Let's see what I can do. He kind of wasn't open, so I was like, let me see if I can go to option B, C, E. He was, looks open, but I end up getting it picked off. Oh, my goodness. That was my bad, y'all. That was my bad, and that would be the game, folks. That would be the end of this classic. That was so uncharacteristic of me right there, y'all. You guys know I usually do not do that in the clutch. Oh, my goodness, man. When I threw that, I'm thinking to myself, man, launch pad, you've been throwing the ball out of bounds all game. What made you decide to throw that risky pass like that? Especially being though you had a time also, you had another, you had time. That was just a bad pass by my, my bad. That was a bad pass on my part, y'all, man. My bad team launch pad, but it's all good, man. You know, you win some and you lose some, man. Let's, let's show some love to my opponent, man. He played a very solid game, very fair game, man. They didn't hit me with no craziness in this game, so definitely shout out to my opponent. Much love and much respect. Shout out to all my subscribers. You great other guys are the greatest subscribers on the planet. Don't forget to hit me on Twitter. Don't forget to hit that like button for your boy. Don't forget to comment and tell me what teams that you guys would like for me to play with. I'll do the best I can to fulfill everybody's needs. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.